Hello guys and welcome to a new video of the Python tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be talking about a new function similar to the function we've talked about in the previous video. So in the previous video, we've talked about the map function. If you didn't watch the previous video, I recommend going and watching it because most of the things in the previous video are going to apply into this video. So today we're going to be talking about the filter function. And the filter function is probably like the same as the map function so uh, if i go on real quick i just got to set it to python all right so uh sorry for that if i go ahead and define a new function so i'm going to define say multiply uh, maybe two we'll multiply by two maybe just like that and then we could say maybe re yeah okay so we'll return and the equation is going to be x times 2 so x times 2 all right so now let's talk about a little bit about the filter function so it pretty much works the same so first of all let me go ahead and create a list of numbers just like that and then if I go ahead and create a new variable which is b and then we're gonna set it equal to and I'm gonna type list so as before list basically just gets us the output or lists the output basically and then we're gonna type filter now if you haven't recognized yet, it's basically just like the map function. So this is basically the same syntax. Now, in the filter, the same thing. It basically takes two functions. This and so uh, the first function is gonna be mult two, like that, and then the second one is gonna be a. So what we're basically doing here is that we're filtering the numbers from a. Or actually, let's uh, actually I, I did a mistake over here a little bit. So go ahead and define a new function. So define is odd like this, and then we say return. Um, I, I don't really know. Let's actually do a simpler example. So maybe is two. That that can be easier. Return. Uh, two, just like that. Return. Um, maybe x equals two. We're we're gonna check that later. So what what we're gonna do here? We're gonna change that first. Yes. So what we're doing here is that we're basically filtering the numbers in the list and checking the requirement that we've set. Which I don't really know if this is true syntax over here uh, we can check it later or yeah we can we can just make it easier we can just make it maybe if x is greater than two yep that, that better so this is how it basically gonna work define is two uh so he, here we'll basically um now let me explain a little bit the difference between the map and the filter function the map function so when we run a map function we're basically applying something to the list so for example if I change this filter into map and then I change that into mult2, what will basically happen is you'll multiply every single number in the list by 2. But in the filter over here, what we're doing is that we're checking if the number is greater than 2, which we are checking right now. So in this case, 1 and 2 are not going to be included, but 3 and higher are included. So you're basically filtering. That 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 is the... That is the kind of difference. So if I go on and run the program right now. And okay, wait. The, okay, so we get an error over here. And okay, so let me real quick just go ahead and comment this out. Okay, so we're going to run the program now. Okay, there's something wrong with the function over here.
Okay, so now I've realized that I actually need to kind of have a parameter in here and uh, we have a, another issue over here in the filter. Let's see. Oh, okay, so over here we need the parameters over here probably. So let's just go ahead and okay, so X for like that. And there we go. So it seems to be working right now. And if we go ahead and print out both of the lists, so we'll go ahead and print out A first. And then we'll print part of the program. As you can see, the first one, which is A, prints out all the list, uh, which basically is equal to A. And then the second one is the filtered list. So it's filtered uh, the numbers that are kind of greater than 2 and applied over here. So for example, here 3, 4, and so on are greater than 2. And same applies if we go ahead and, oops, sorry. Go ahead and say maybe less than 2, we will get only 1 because 1 is less than 2. And if I go ahead and check if it's equal to 2, I'm not sure if it's, yep, it's double equals. So then it will just say 2. Only. Now, uh, what happens, you're probably questioning, what happens if we type in a string or maybe a boolean in the return? So, if we, let's see the boolean first. If I go and type maybe true, it will print out all the lists. Every single pass. And if I go and print out, uh, oh sorry, type in here false, make sure the capitalization, you will have nothing in here. And uh, if you have a string, so for, so for example, uh, hi over here, it will still input everything. So basically, every single string is technically equal to, to true. Well, of course, we, it doesn't make really much sense, but this is how Python really sees it. It sees it as basically true. So if I go ahead and get the function back, Okay, so let's try here something real quick. If we do like maybe um sorry, uh, x is great and maybe is greater than two, then we try and find the and keyword and then we say x is smaller than eight. And there you go, as you can see it works. It will tell us so you can actually have multiple conditions. Again, you can also use the or and the um, not keyword or whatever it was called. So yep, you can also use multiple kind of functions. Now, uh, what if I told you that you can actually use the map and the filter functions together? Let me explain. So over here we've got the list, the, the filter, sorry, the filter function over here. And then say you want to go ahead and filter these numbers from the list and you want to multiply them by 2. Well, that's simple. So, you want to go ahead and just type, it, just type it out like this. The same, but all you need to do is basically add the map function. And that is it. Or sorry, that's not the right area over here. So we need to add the map function over here. Like that. And, oh yeah, sorry. Maybe so, and get an error over here in the print function.
Okay, so over here, I kind of made a mistake for positioning the map. Sorry for that, but actually, you don't need to. You really don't need to put the map inside of the filter over here. And what you need to do is basically create a new variable. And for some reason here, it's kind of indenting. It's kind of like entering and it's highlighting. I don't really know what happened, but anyways, I guess we'll comment it out for now. And then anyways, we'll just ignore that. We can go ahead and list and then map. And then what you could do is you could include the thing you want to multiply, sorry, you want, the thing you want to apply, for example, multi, and then you want to do D, which is the thing you want to apply to, and that's kind of weird over here. Go and, let's see, go and run that. Yeah, okay, there's something wrong with this kind of indentation or highlights. I'm gonna try and uh, retype it out. So list filter. We got these two, and a. Okay, there we go. It's working again. I think it was probably because of brackets or whatever. Yep, it was. I was using the brackets. For that, but for now, uh, I'll go ahead and print out C over here. And something's wrong again. Oh, yeah, wait, I forgot the comma. Alright. If I go ahead and run the code right now, uh, as you can see, first of all, it prints the list, the actual list. Then it modifies it a little bit. It says uh, over here where we have, if it is greater than uh, sorry yeah if it is greater than two or less than eight this is check print out that list and then we multi we doubled or multiplied the results by two so three by two is six four by two is eight and so on so this is how it basically works uh, as a sum as a kind of summary map function applies something to a list and the filter function filters uh so some items from the list based on the requirement or condition as we, as we call it um, that you give it so i hope you i hope you learned about the map and filter function and i will see you guys in the next video